Hey everyone, it's Mr. Wistar again, and in this lesson we're going to take a look at how to use constant variables, which is a special kind of variable that you can use in your program where you set the value once and then it never changes again. Uh, we'll talk about um, what constants are and why it's a good idea to use them, and then we'll get into some of the more particulars about the uh, correct syntax and um, the appropriate style for how you should use them in your program. So just to recap, constant is a type of variable, and as we've talked about in the past, a variable is uh, it's a container that you can use to store a value that you plan on using later on in your program. In particular, a constant is a variable that you can set the value once when you first create it, and then it will never change again. So you can see an example here. This is an example of an integer constant named age that is initially signed the value 18. And we'll get into what all those other keywords mean there in a little bit. So why would you want to use constants? Um, certainly it's a little bit more work, but I hope I can convince you that it's actually better, much better for you as a programmer in the long run. So here are a couple of reasons. The biggest reason is that it helps people understand your program. And in particular, it eliminates what we call magic numbers. A magic number is when you have a statement in your program that uses a number and that number has some significance, but uh, unless you are the programmer and you've been working on the program recently, you have pretty much no shot of trying to figure out what that is. So, you know, 40, 200, 23, negative 10. Uh, those values don't mean anything uh, out of context and even in context are sometimes hard to figure out. Instead, if you have a variable with a name, then you can just look at the name and remember, oh, okay, I remember what that value is supposed to represent. Um, so that's why it's good for your users. There's a couple of reasons why it's also really useful for you as a programmer. One thing is uh, it uh, prevents you from mistyping the number in case you have to type it over and over again. So if you use the same value 20 times and you type it in, chances are, you know, one out of those 20 times you might transpose the number or mistype one of the digits. That's impossible to do if you use the name of a constant. So that's why one of the reasons why it helps protect you as a programmer. Uh, another reason why it's helpful as a programmer is it just saves you time. So let's just say in that same example you're using the same value in 20 different places in your program and then you decide tomorrow that instead of being 20 it should be 25. Well now you have to make 25 changes in your program. If instead you had used a constant variable and use the name of that constant 20 times in your program, then all you would have to do is go up to the line where you assign it its initial value and change it from 20 to 25. So right there, constants can give you a big economy of scale if you happen to be using the same value a lot. And again, you know, sort of as I said, it just makes your program easier to read. Uh, the more, the less time you have to spend translating the code into understanding, the faster you can understand it. Okay, hopefully I've convinced you. If I haven't and you're one of my students, you're not going to have a choice. Let's talk about how to actually do it. This is the typical syntax for creating a constant in your program. A lot of this should look pretty familiar. Uh, the last three parts of that are the same as what you would use to create any primitive type. So if I was going to create a float, for example, I would say float temperature gets 98.6. That doesn't change. In order to make it a constant, I need to add those other three keywords. So let's just go through and talk about each one of those just very briefly, because each one is significant. Um, the word public simply means that other classes besides the file that you're in right now can access and use that value, which you will see when you start to work on medium to large size projects is really important. The final um, is probably the most important. I put it there in bold. Final means constant. If your variable is not declared as final, then it is not a constant. And if it is declared as final, you can't change it. Last but not least, um, there's static. And I don't want to get into a lot of detail about that in this lesson because it's a pretty advanced topic. Uh, but just for your purposes right now, know that a static variable only gets one copy in your program no matter how many times it gets used or how many classes use it. And that can be helpful um, because it just saves a little bit of space in memory. Okay, and the last point, um, which I put in a big note in front of, is that this whole syntax 
is actually something that should happen outside of the main method. Um, normally, programmers will place their constants at the very top of their class, right underneath the word public class foo, um, and right underneath the curly brace. So the very first thing, before you even get to public static void main, should be your constants. And you'll see that in the example we look at. Last thing before we get to the program is about some issues of good style. Uh, generally speaking, programmers use all capital letters for their constants. And the reason for that, I think, should be pretty uh, self-evident. It helps you look at the name of a variable and figure out that it's a constant. Um, it's not a requirement, but it does make your program a lot easier to understand. So make sure you should make sure that you use caps with your constants. As a upshot of that, with constants, we typically use underscores in between the words. And the reason is that we can't upcase the first letters of the words like we would normally with the variable. And sometimes if you have a constant with multiple words in the name, they can all kind of run together. So do yourself and the, program and the people who read your code a favor, use underscores. Um, it should probably go without saying by now, but pick names that are meaningful. Remember that 7 to 15 character um, size is sort of the sweet spot, so don't be afraid to skimp. Um, it's good to make sure that your constant makes sense. And then the last thing is that it's important that you write a javadoc comment above each constant with just a one line, very brief description of what its purpose is. And you can see an example of that here. Again, I just want to point out to you that javadoc constant uh, comment always begins with slash star star. And if you want to check to make sure that your comments are working, use whatever the tool in your browser is that allows you to preview the documentation. If you don't see comments for your constants, then you must have made a mistake somewhere. Okay, let's take a look at an example. So if we go into JGrasp, here we are in the program that you used on the very first day of class. And if I, just to remind you, if I go ahead and run this program, it will draw a nice picture, and that's great. Uh, but what's not so great is if we go look in our code, you know, wow, this code is a monument to magic numbers, and we're going to try to fix that. Um, so if I take a look here, for example, one of the magic numbers that just leaps out at me is this big block of 20s over here, um, because all of them represent the size of the window. It's a square window, and the both windows are the same size. That number is just crying out to be made into a constant. So let's go ahead and do that. So up here, I'll follow directions. So I'm going to declare a constant to represent that size. So again, every constant always starts with public, static, final. What type of variable value is it? It's an int. What should we call it? Well, don't get clever, window size. Um, and then remember, you have to assign the value to the constant that you want it to have for now and forevermore. If you miss that opportunity, then your constant will be useless. So now we've created our constant. Now I'm going to go substitute the name of that constant. Don't be afraid to use copy and paste here. This is one time when you should definitely obey the principle of sloth. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to copy and paste window size over top of where 20 used to be. Um, just one more thing, which is probably of note. My statement is too long now because I substituted a long variable name for a very short two-digit number. So just to make my code a little bit easier to read, I'll just move this stuff down to the next line and indent it. And just to prove to you that I haven't actually changed the program, I'm going to go ahead and compile and run it. And it's still the same. The window size is the same. But now we have it as a constant. And just to illustrate the point that I was making for you earlier, let's say I came in tomorrow and I thought, wow, these windows are way too small. Well, now instead of having to make four changes, I only have to make one. Uh, once I change that variable from 20 to 40 and I run my program again, everything gets changed. Now my windows are, now my windows are a little bit bigger. So this is a good example of how you can use constants in your program. Remember that a constant is a variable that can't change. Remember that it can save you and the people who are trying to understand your code a lot of time and anguish. Um, the syntax for creating is pretty much the same as a normal variable with just some extra keywords thrown in front. Normally we put our constants in all caps uh, and if you follow all those rules you should be in good shape. All right.